Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna show you how to get involved in the native G-Cody airdrop campaign. In order to take part in the airdrop, you'll need to deposit and lock your native Cody in the treasury. From inside our Viper wallet, we're gonna click on the treasury tab. On this screen, you'll get a dashboard view of both the treasury and your own balances. You're able to see all of your active deposits, accumulated rewards, and expected APY, all in one place. Once the native campaign begins on the 3rd of April, you'll see a new section, this G Cody native campaign banner. It displays the total amount of Cody deposited in the campaign, the maximum APY that can be earned, the current soft cap amount, and what early bird bonuses are still available. In order to participate in the airdrop, you'll need to enroll an active deposit into it. If you don't see this banner or the enroll button is grayed out, this just means that you don't have any active deposits in the treasury to migrate yet. If you need help setting up the treasury deposits, we've included a link in the description below to our treasury tutorial. After making sure we have an active deposit in the treasury, we're going to click on enroll. On the next screen, you'll see a list of your active deposits in this migrate section. Here we can see the deposit amount, our accumulated rewards, the multiplier, the remaining lock period, and the deposit health. Using these checkboxes, we can choose which of our active deposits we'd like to transfer into the campaign. You can either select and migrate them individually or select multiple, merging them into a single deposit. For this video, we're going to combine all of our existing deposits by clicking here. We're able to do this regardless of any of the locking periods or multipliers that applied to our deposits. Now you'll notice that when the deposits are selected, the full deposit amount plus the rewards that have been accumulated are included in the total amount over in the preview. This occurs by default, but you can, of course, withdraw any rewards prior to migrating your deposit over. Next, we've got the drop address field where we enter the Viper wallet address that the native G-Cody will be airdropped to. Now it's time to choose a locking period. We've got the option here for 180 days, 270 days, and 360 days. And you'll notice that the estimated Cody APY over in the preview section changes dynamically if we change the locking period. Please note that unlike in a standard treasury deposit, these locking periods can't be withdrawn early. On the other hand, all campaign deposits come with a 1x multiplier, meaning there's no liquidation risk. As we're one of the first to enter this campaign, you can see that we're also eligible for an early bird bonus. Just below that, you can see the drop date, which is listed here as the 3rd of April. Now, obviously, when the campaign goes live, this will say the 1st of June, but as we're in a test environment, we have different dates listed here. Then we've got the total amount which in this case includes all the rewards that these deposits had accumulated up until now. Once we're happy with all the details and we're ready, we click Migrate. Once that's completed, we can check the details of our newly migrated deposit by clicking Manage. Under the Program tab, we can see the deposit timestamp, the total deposited amount, the locking period, unlock time, maximum Cody APY, and the date we will receive the G-Cody airdrop. Once again, keep in mind the campaign's real airdrop date will be the 1st of June. Under the Rewards tab, we've got the ability to withdraw some of the Cody we've accumulated during the campaign. Now obviously we don't yet have enough rewards to cover the withdrawal fees, but they will begin to accumulate over time. And finally, in the History tab, we've got a list of the various deposit migrations we've done since the beginning of the campaign. So that's it for how to migrate Cody to the G-Cody native airdrop campaign. Just a reminder that enrollment for the native campaign opens on the 3rd of April for native Cody holders and will run for 14 days before the ERC-20 campaign begins. We will share a tutorial for the ERC-20 campaign later on. Make sure to keep an eye out for updates on the campaign. And as always, stay Cody.